Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to do automatic number plate recognition using OpenALPR with Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Okay, so to use OpenALPR in Raspberry Pi, at first you have to get into the Pi. So for that, I am using Putty. So you you can use BNC or Diet HDMI connection, whatever you want. So it's my the IP of my Pi, and the user name is Pi, and the password is Raspberry by default. So I'm into the Pi. Now what we have to do is we have to write the code for that uh, to use that API. Now I have already written the code in my GitHub repository, so you can just copy from here. So what you need to do, you just uh you can just clone it or oh, i will put the link in the description so that you can <coughs> copy from there so you just write get clone get clone and paste the link <coughs> and yes it's done now let's get into the deposit get into the folder okay so here we have one single code and three just test images okay so now let's get into the code nano open so here if you see that this is the code so let me open the code in a text editor so that you can see it better so as you can see this is the code so basically here we are firstly importing three libraries one is request second is base 64 third is json so basically we are doing this because like we have to do stuff with images that's why base64 and json because we need some kind of person here <coughs> now here we have a function ocr so basically we will pass the image path in the ocr function and it will the ocr function will return as the recognized number plate if it finds any so and here is the secret key secret key means <coughs> sorry so basically you have to open an account in open alpr okay so it's totally free and so you just go to and create an account and then you log in and then you have to go to the cloud api and here you will get the secret key also as you can see current plan is free and uh, per month 2000 i think api requests are free per month so you can like for small hobbies it's just pretty well okay and for commercial purpose you can also buy it if you want but i think 2000 api requests are just uh -huh, awesome so, and also you will see how many you have used already so it will show you that also so basically you have to copy the secret key from here okay and then uh, then you have to paste that key here then we are just opening the image and then like we are just encoding in base64 and then we are just sending the image to that url so basically it's the url and <coughs> here one thing is very important in the url part which is here as you can see at the date uh, sorry and country is equal to India so IND so basically here you have to replace this part with your country code okay so for in my case is India IND and uh, if you go to the open LPR official website uh, open LPR um, open LPR.com so if you go here you will see they are um, they officially support uh, many countries okay what is Uh, I think cloud API yes here so as you can see they support all these countries so basically uh, in each country the number plate have its own pattern so basically it differs from country to country that's why uh, you have to mention the country code in the in this country is equal to here okay so you just change this IND with your country code and you just put this uh, secret key here. You just have to modify these two things and remaining things will be just the same. Okay, then we are just posting the request and we are getting the response. If we found any, if we find any play, plate, then we will uh, return it. Except that we will just print there's, there's no number plate. Okay, so this is how the whole code works. There is nothing. Okay, and the main advantage is very much accurate and there will be no load in the Raspberry Pi. Just you uh, need to need your Raspberry Pi to connect to the internet. Okay. Now let's just try it. So okay. So like I said here, I have to copy the secret secret key here. Let's 
so let me copy the key and yes i have saved it now uh, now let me show you the images i am going to try to it so they all are indian images because like uh, you have to use the same image you have like i have mentioned india there that's why i have to use indian number plates so this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one okay and this this is taken by me even okay so let's just see okay uh, so what we have to do we have to just import python we just write python then inside it you just write from open l p r o c r import ocr from open lpr ocr import ocr and after that you just write ocr and inside that you just mention the name of the i mean the path of the image in, in my case it's in the same folder that's why i'll just put the name a.jpg and you will see within very few seconds i as you can see here is the number plate okay so if you see the real image it's the first one as you can see the real image and here you see the so as you can see it's very much accurate so let's try it another one uh just directly the jpg and uh, as you can see it is already given us so yeah this is this one is dl4 ccb1111 so if you see yes okay so like this it works so basically uh you can just import it for, uh, import this like function in any of your code and use this for any of your application because it's free it's accurate and it's very much fast okay so i think uh so that's it and and if you get any uh error like basically so you have to import yeah you have to install these things so you just write pip install request pip install base 64 pip install json okay so i have already installed those stuff so i haven't shown you but you if you got any error you just install those stuffs and remaining things will be just the same so I'll put the link in the description of my GitHub repository. Okay. And uh, thank you for watching this video. And uh, I will upload this kind of video in future. So please like my channel, uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video. And thank you.